What's up everyone, Casey here and welcome back to Two Guys One Console. So today we're going to be starting another first impressions video and this time we're going to be doing it on The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Now this first impressions video is going to be a little bit different because I've actually just finished this game. Um, but I have had a couple people wanting to know what the game is like because they were kind of interested in it when I was talking about it. So. I'm actually going to be playing through the prologue of the game to kind of give you guys a little sneak peek of what the game is actually about. And this is not a demo, this is the full game, but we are just going to do the prologue. So I guess I'll go ahead and do easy. So the first part of the prologue is actually during a uh, sort of a war, uh, a battle, and it's not really going to make much sense until you get later on in the game. But that's basically just how the story starts out. But I will tell you that as you guys know, I've talked about I'm a very big Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts fan, and those have always been my favorite series, until at least I played Persona 5, and that became my all-time favorite RPG. Well, I can honestly say, guys, after playing this game, this is definitely my all-time favorite game. <laughs> it's, it's definitely, it's replaced all of those, so... This is a, a great series so far. I'm actually on the second game. What's happening? Who's in control of those things? Get in touch with the 4th Armored Division! We need... Now this game is turn-based combat. So if you're not a fan of turn-based JRPGs, um, may not be your cup of tea, but the story is definitely pretty original, and it's probably one of the best stories I've ever seen in a JRPG game, so it's definitely worth checking out. They've completely blindsided us. It appears that everything else they've done today was to serve as a decoy, even making the tanks go haywire. Right. It looks like their real target was the railway gun, which means they must be serious about targeting that trade conference in Crossbell City. They wouldn't! Oh, oh, can they possibly sink? So, they're intent on taking the Chancellor's head after all. Resorting to such wanton violence? This is absolutely outrageous. <sighs> Please, let us help. We don't know if reinforcements are on the way. It doesn't look like we have much time left. We have to stop them before they can activate the railway guns. Green's right. I don't know how much we can really do, but considering the alternative, we have to try. Right. We're about to let those te <sighs> Looks like any attempt to convince you otherwise would fall on deaf ears. All right. Green? You and the rest of Group A are with me. Group B, you'll be under the command of Major Nightheart. One group will secure the gun of the right wing. The other, this is an actual combat situation with real lives at stake. I expect the best from each of you. Yes, sir. All right, Class 7. Our objective is to stop the activation of the ri We've learned a lot at the Academy. It's time to put that knowledge to the test. Understood! Right. All right, so here are the controls. And basically you can save your progress from the menu at any time. Uh, there is also a turbo mode that you can turn on to move across areas more quickly. And on the side you have your characters 
their little images and their HP, EP, and CP bars. Okay, so these are ordnance stations that you can rest at, which are all at full health, but just for the sake of the impressions video, I'm just going to show you guys. So here you can heal HP and EP here. Uh, the menu, you have your different characters. Um, only four characters to a battle, but you can switch them in and out. So you do carry two, uh, two supporting characters with you. Um, HP is obviously health. Uh, EP is for arts, which is magic. And CP is for your crafts, which I will show you when we get to a battle. during our field study. Mechanical monstrosities. Save the talking for later. We need to take these things out. Got it. Enemy sighted. Take them out. Okay. Okay, so here on the battle screen, so everyone has a normal physical attack, and then you have your arts, which are magic, and you have attack arts and support arts, which are basically like healing uh, you can fortify your protection for magic and physical attacks and you also have crafts that are particular skills that each character can use according to their weapon and abilities and you also have an S craft which is basically like in terms of Final Fantasy a limit break or an overdrive or basically your strongest skill and that those can these consume CP and you have, like I said, the arts, and you can use your items, and you can also run from battle. Uh, the move tab, so basically you can move your different characters around the field if you want to spread them out or bring them closer together. So we can go ahead and end this fight with... the Plasma Storm S-Craft. Which is pretty flashy, there you go. So I took care of everyone. And then obviously you have your experience. No doubt about it. Those things were the same as the one we fought outside with Graham. It seems a large number of them are on the loose inside the fortress. I'm guessing that's what got the soldiers we just saw, too. It seems so. So these are archaisms. Are you certain, Instructor? Yeah, they're a kind of autonomous weapon made by a rather unsavory group. And a real pain to deal with, too. We need to hurry, but keep your wits about you. All right. good. Okay, moving along. Here they come. Leave it to me. I'll handle this. My turn. Yeah, here. It is over, but stay alert, everyone. If you catch the enemies off guard, you can basically get like a preemptive strike. It's called an advantage, and it will allow you to attack first in battle. And it'll actually give you a, cu a couple of extra turns as well. So we'll just use a couple of different arts just to show you guys kind of what we're working with. I shall fulfill my duty as a noble.
You're in my way. Okay. Okay. My turn. Now's a chance. Okay, so that's what's called a link attack. Very well. So if you're basically if you're linked with another character, then they can perform an extra attack. If you initiate the link attacks, it is. on the other side. There! Those are... The railway guns. They're enormous. Damn. How did they manage to get them prepped so fast? Don't tell me they're just gonna let them rip without even setting a target. Instructor! Oh, they're certainly not shy about bringing out the big guns. <sighs> We don't have time for this! We need to take these thick- Right there with you! Let's send these Cretans to the scrap heap! Enemy sighted! Leave take it to me! Alright, so here we have a boss fight. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use... i use Crystal Saber. Alright, so we've almost got one killed. Flames, gamble on my plate. Okay. Very well. All right, I took care of those guys. We're running out of time. I'm gonna go on ahead. Follow me as soon as you're sure it's safe. <gasps> Railway guns. No, no, no! Okay, so we'll skip this and go on to the second part of the prologue. So now we switch to five months earlier. Now, this game actually has... Um, I wouldn't call it a prologue series. It's basically like a separate series in the uh, Legend of Heroes 
kind of universe. It's basically it's it's a trilogy on its own as well, and it's uh, called the Trails in the Sky, which you the can currently get on Steam. Um, thank all passengers for their patronage. One, two, and three. I think you can get this on Steam. Is bound for Bereahard. The next stop is Trista. We will be stopped at Trista for one minute. When disembarking, please ensure no belongings are almost there. Man, spring's really in full bloom here, huh? Back home, there was still so much snow on the ground, I hardly even realized it. Uh, and uh, just in case you're interested already, Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2 are currently out on PS4. And Trails of Cold Steel 3 is actually coming out on the 22nd of this month, so definitely look forward to playing that so hopefully I can get the second game completed and start the third one there is a fourth uh, Trails of Cold Steel it's the last game in the series it's the end of the saga and that's currently only in Japan it's not been localized hopefully within the next year year and a half maybe they'll localize it I hope so But once you once you start playing these and getting into the story, like it's so addictive, like it's really aside from recording and streaming, it's the only thing that I've been playing. Like it's just so good. I've never seen so many all blossoming at once. I'll be spending the next two years here. Wonder how long it'll be before I think of it as home. But yeah, I think I'm going to like it. <laughs> Ouch! Whoa. Sorry about that. Are you okay? I should have picked a better place to take in the scenery. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I should have been paying more attention to where I was going instead of gawking at the flowers. It's really a pretty town though, isn't it? Just like a postcard. Yeah, I guess that's the magic of springtime for you. I hope everything in your case is okay. Oh, don't worry about that. It'll be fine. Hey, you've got the red uniform too, huh? Yeah, but now that you mention it, Almost everyone else on the train had a green jacket. You're one of the few I've seen in red. I didn't really think about it until now. I just put on the uniform they sent me. I hadn't given it much thought until I got here either. But yeah, like you said, there have been a few others sporting them too, so I doubt it's a mistake. Maybe it means we'll end up being classmates. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I should get going. I've got a feeling we'll see each other again at the entrance ceremony though. I totally forgot to ask your name. Oh well, I'm sure we'll run into each other later. She's right though. It is weird that there are so few of us in red. Are there even enough to make a class? That orgman they sent with the uniform is pretty strange too. It sure looks a lot fancier than your standard issue orgman, that's for sure. Eh, guess there's no point in racking my brain over it. Someone will probably explain it during orientation. Thor's military academy is on the north side of town. I've still got some time to look around before the entrance ceremony, but it'd be pretty... Alright, so we're going to go ahead and head to the school. So here's our map. And it'll tell you exactly where the story events in your current location are. So we'll go ahead and head up to the academy. I shall take my leave here, milady. I pray you find victory here in both your studies and your training. Thank you, Klaus. I'm leaving everything in your hands while Father is away. Understood, milady. Oh, please excuse my rudeness, young sir. It truly is a splendid day, is it not? The start of a new chapter in the lives of so many promising youth. Allow me to express my sincerest congratulations on your admittance into this fine academic institution. Oh, thank you very much. I'm guessing he's a butler? 
he certainly looks the part. That means the girl with him must have been a noble. She did have a certain dignity about her. I wonder if she's from a famous military family or something. All right, here we go. So this is it. Thor's Military Academy. Founded by the legendary Emperor Dreykels himself. Thank you for your patience, sir. We've arrived at the Academy. Much obliged. Please, if you'll allow me. That won't be necessary. I prefer to avoid uh, But This isn't open for debate. Take whatever rest you need, then return to Bereahard. As you wish. I shall be departing then, sir. May your time spent in these hallowed halls be all you've hoped for. Please take care. Limousine and one of Reinfurt's fanciest models, too. Looks like even Erebonia's upper crust send their children here. Welcome to Thor's military. You're, let's see. Yes, you're the last of them. That make you Green Schwarzer, right? Uh, yes, that's me. It's a pleasure to meet you. But how do you know me? <laughs> It's a long story. Don't sweat the details right now. Is that your weapon you've got wrapped up? I need to hold on to that for the time being. Oh, right. They mentioned something about that in the guidebook. Thanks. We should be able to return it to you before long. You'll hardly even miss it. I like how <laughs> his description is chubby boy. I just think that's so funny. Enjoy your first day at Thor's. We're glad to have you. I hope these next two years will be a fruitful time for you. I guess those two must be second years? That girl definitely looked younger than me, though. What was that about me being the last? I'm not seriously the very last student to... Sounds like it's about time for the ser... Well, here's to the start of a great two years. I'd like to say a few words in closing about this Academy's illustrious history. Thor's Military Academy was founded almost 220 years ago. Its founder, as I'm sure you're all aware, was none other than the great Emperor Dreykels. The very same Emperor who ended the War of the Lions and returned prosperity to the Erebonian Empire. Thirty years after becoming Emperor, in the later years of his life, he opened the doors of this institution. It was to be a place where young people like yourselves could learn the art of war. But with the mechanization of the military, many of our graduates now pursue careers outside the army. Our mission, however, remains the same. To prepare our students to fulfill Emperor Dreykel's famous mandate. Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. Though much has happened these past two and a quarter centuries, the world is still the domain of the young, yet still the question remains. What qualities must one possess to become a part of its foundation? I hope this credo will serve as a guide and an inspiration to you during your two years at this academy. Go forth, my students. The world awaits the great things you will one day accomplish. Foundation of the world, huh? <laughs> no pressure, right? <laughs> no kidding. 
Though, this is Dreykel's the Lionheart we're talking about. He didn't earn his nickname by taking the easy route. Guess we've got more to worry about than just passing exam. <laughs> I guess we... I'm Elliot Craig. Nice to meet you. Reen Schwarzer. Hey, looks like we're sporting the same school fashion. Yeah, no idea what the red uniform is supposed to... Most of the other students are wearing green. Well, except for the ones in the white uniforms. Those must be the nobles. Looks that way. Though... Hmm? Something... Nah, just thinking to myself. And that brings us to the close of Thor's 215th entrance ceremony. Next, please proceed to the class designated in your guidebook. There, you will go over the school rules as well as your class's curriculum. That is all. Dismissed! The class designated in our guidebook? I don't remember seeing anything like that. There wasn't any information on that in mind. I just assumed they'd tell us where to go after the ceremony. All right! Students in red uniforms, if I can have your attention, please. By now, you're probably all confused. Where's my class assignment, you're probably thinking? That's perfectly understandable. Your situation is a little more complicated than the other students. But before I explain, I'd like all of you to join me for a special orienteering exercise. What? Did you mean an orientation exercise? Hmm. Worry not. Everything will be made clear soon enough. Now, right this way, if you would. Um... Looks like we're gonna have to follow her if we want any... <sighs> what do you think this is all about? I have no idea, but we're not going to accomplish anything just standing around here. We should... Okay, so pretty much everyone in red uniforms is a special kind of class. What is this place? Why is there a building this dilapidated on campus? It looks like it should have been torn down ages ago. <laughs> what does she even want us to do here? Is she ever gonna tell us what's going? I suppose we'll just have to go inside. Th this place looks like some old haunted mansion or something. Now that you mention it, it kind of does. I think this is everyone I've seen with a red uniform. I guess we really are part of the same class then. So, these are our new underclassmen, huh? Yep. They've got a different set of hoops to jump through than we did, though. I'm just happy all our work's paying off. I'd hate to have put in a year's worth of effort for nothing. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Wait, when did you do any work? You were just slacking off the whole time. <laughs> Says the master slacker. Still, looks like Elisa's got some stiff competition. Quite a bevy of beauties they've got there. And I'm looking forward to getting intimately acquainted with each and every one of them. Oh, you know one of them? Er, wait. No, no, not these ones too. Stop flirting with every damn girl you lay eyes on. Do you have any idea how many guys at this school have gotten their hearts broken because of your libido? <laughs> did, did you just sneer at me? Oh, you did, didn't you? Come on now, no... Well, look who finally made it. You got our little chickadees all sorted out? Yep. They're all bright-eyed and ready to go. So from here on out, we're gonna have to give it all we've got to support this fledgling class. <laughs> now you sound the part of... Guess she's going all in. Well, they'd be in for a pretty rough time if we didn't help out a little. At least to start with, anyway. Everything's ready over there, right? You betcha. Just like the instructor asked. Can't help but feel a little sorry for them, though. Same here. They've got no idea what they're being tossed into. The class they've been picked for didn't even exist before this year. Guess all we can do is watch and see what they're made of, right?
The name's Sarah Valestein. I'm the instructor in charge of Class 7, which means you get the pleasure of seeing me all year. Glad to finally meet you. Wait, Class 7? I'm not sure I understand. I wasn't told anything about this at enrollment. Excuse me, Instructor Sarah. I was under the impression that there were only five classes at this academy, and that students were split among them based on their social class and home region. Right you are, Miss Top Scorer on the Thor's entrance exam. Students in each year are divided into five classes, two for the nobility and three for commoners. And it's been that way for ages, right up through last year. But this year, we decided to shake things up a little. We now have a sixth class, fittingly titled Class 7. And in Class 7, we recognize no distinction between nobles and commoners. Wait, you just jumped straight from 5 to 7? Y you're really putting nobles and commoners in the same class? <laughs> this must be some kind of joke. And why is this the first I've heard of it? Well, uh... <laughs> uh... Regnitz. And with all due respect, Instructor, it's ludicrous to intermix nobles and commoners like this. One of the great things about this game is the is the character development and their different personalities because they're just fantastic. I'd be forced to spend my next two years shoulder to shoulder with those arrogant, stuck-up hedonists? Uh, you do know I'm not the one who made the decision, right? Besides, what's the big deal anyway? You're all kids. Can't you all just get along or something? Is it just get along? <laughs> And how would you propose we do that? <laughs> and what's your problem? Oh, nothing much. I just find the irony of your behavior rather humorous. Is that... It seems the scion of some noble house has left the comfort of his mansion to grace the unwashed masses with his wisdom. <laughs> Please, my lord, do share your esteemed name with us so I can give you all the respect you deserve. Eusis Alborea. Not that I'd expect the name of an arrogant, stuck-up hedonist to lodge itself in that hard head of yours. He's from one of the four great houses! The son of Duke Alborea, Lord of the Kreutzen province in the southeast. Oh, you don't get much more noble than that. Interesting. I'd heard the rumor. Do you expect me to be of your family lineage means nothing to me? I'll never bend my knee to the likes of- Okay, okay, that's enough. I'm sure a couple of you have a few grievances, but now's not the time. I'll hear your complaints later. Right now, you've got your orienteering exercise, and far be it from me to keep you from our fun little icebreaker. <sighs> you mentioned this orienteering? It's a form of outdoor competition, isn't it? Something like a cross between a map reading exercise and a scavenger hunt? <sighs> Is that why they asked us to hand over our weapons at the gate? Nothing gets by you, does it? But I don't want to spoil the fun, so let's get started, shall we? What? <gasps> oh, what? Ah! <sighs> Come on, Fee. No cheating. You're going with them and that's that. What's the point in having an icebreaker if you don't make a couple of new friends? Ugh, lame. So as you can see, everyone's pretty... interesting so far. <laughs> you definitely find out a lot of the characters' backstories and everything as the game progresses, but... They Gave don't exactly lock each other at first. I can't believe I fell for such an obvious trap. Does this mean there's a series of catacombs beneath the school? <sighs> what does that woman think she's playing? <sighs> <sighs> I thought my heart was gonna jump out of my chest. Hey, Reen, are you okay? Easy now. Hands where she can see them. <laughs> Awkward. Huh? <laughs> um, well, this is a bit awkward. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Still, I'm just glad you're okay. That's what's really important here, right? Ah! 
Wow. It's just not your day, is it? Well, now that I've hit the bottom, things can only improve. I hope. What is this place? I was wondering the same thing. We should check out those tables. What? Huh? Is this? It's coming from the devices we would seems to be some sort of portable ornament. Right you are. These handy little devices are a special kind of battle ornament. Is that Miss Valestine? So these devices have built-in communications functionality? Wait, don't tell me these new model battle ornaments made through a partnership between the Epstein Foundation and Reinford Company. Newly made fifth generation battle ornaments, in fact. They're called Argus Units. Argus. So these are battle. That means they'll allow us to use arts, right? Sure will. Just set a quartz into one of its slots, and you can use arts all the live long day. Which is why I've prepared enough quartz for each and every one of you. The weapons you brought are all here, too. Each package neatly along a little box containing the quartz. Find yours, and try setting the quartz into your Argus. Hmm. I su- <sighs> Let's see... Oh, I see mine over there. Let me just go grab it, okay? Alright, so we're gonna walk over and grab our weapon now. So, we obtained the Force Quartz. What's this? A master quartz. If you set that into the large slot in the center of your Arcus, you'll be able to use our. Go on, give it a try. All right, so we go to ornament on the menu, go to quartz and master quartz, and we will set force. So you can kind of think of the the quartz and the Arcus units kind of like uh, the materia from Final Fantasy VII, in a way. When you step through that door, you'll be in an underground testing area. Basically, it's a dungeon. It's pretty large and full of twists and turns. I'd almost guarantee you'll get lost at least once. But when you find the exit, you'll be able to return to the first floor of this old schoolhouse. There are monsters wandering around, though, so don't let your guard down, even for a moment. With all that said, let's commence. Your objective is to make your way through this area and back to the surface. Make it back in one piece, and I'll be happy to field any complaints you might have. If you make it back safely, I might even give you a kiss. Free of charge. On the cheek, of course. <laughs> Uh, I don't think she's joking. <laughs> and just where do you think he were you planning to wander off? I have no interest in becoming friends with anyone here. And I'm surprised that you, of all people, give a damn what I do. Unless you've suddenly decided you do want to keep company with one of those stuck-up hedonists, after all. Still, if you're afraid of the monsters, I suppose I could accompany you. After all, what kind of Erebonian noble would I be if I didn't have at least some degree of prowess with a sword? And noblesse oblige dictates that it's my sacred duty to protect powerless commoners such as yourself. What? What the hell? Nobody's asking your high excellency to deign to help us. If that's how you're gonna be, I'll just find my way out of here before you. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself without some relic of an outdated class that's still dragging me down. <laughs> um, what should we do? The only thing we can do. I believe it would be prudent to rem Would the two of you have any objections to accompanying me? Oh, no, that, it would be a huge help, actually. And you're welcome to join us as... Well, I suppose that's a no. So, 
Shall we be off? I'm certain you gentlemen will be fine, but do take care. Okay. <laughs> if you'll excuse us, please. <sighs> Not such a hot first impression. You can say that again. I'll have to clear things up with her later. Anyway, should the three of us stick together? Sounds good to me. I'd get pretty anxious wandering around a place like this alone. No objections here. I'd be... I don't believe I've introduced myself yet. My name is Gaius Warzel. I just arrived in the Empire, so... Any help you can offer would be much appreciated. Oh, so you're from abroad. My name's Reen Schwarzer. I'm Elliot Craig. So, you... Of course. Why else would I be carrying it? It's a spear, but it has that odd cross-shaped head. It looks kind of... awesome. Think of it as combining the best parts of a spear and a poleaxe. That was pretty handy. But speaking of weapons, I have to say, yours looks pretty unique. Oh, this... Is it a staff? Wait, no. It's an orbment, isn't it? Both, actually. It's an orbal staff. The tech is pretty recent. This one's still a prototype, more or less. Back during enrollment, they told me I had some aptitude for it. So when it came time to choose, I just sort of ran with it. Interesting. I've never seen anything like it before. Can't say I have. They're still in development, apparently, so there aren't too many. But that said, I... Oh, my... Yeah, but what? It's different from the kinds of swords I thought the people in the... It's an Eastern style of saber called Itachi. Any way you slice it, though, it's basically a longsword. Wow, that's one... The craftsmanship looks... They're renowned for the layering of their steel and the sharpness of their edge. Truth be told, though, I'm still a little hesitant to be swinging around something this dangerous. Seriously? If that's what hesitant looks like, I'll bet confidence will make you... Well, you sound like a good guy to have around when the going gets tough. Speaking of which, I think we've been standing around long enough. I think I can manage that. You saw it yourselves. Trouble has a way of dropping in on me. Let's Literally. take it slow and steady, though. We need to adapt to each other's fighting styles to really... Got it. All right, so Elliot and guys joined our team here. All right, so everyone has their courts set in, and let's go. Yikes! A monster! Enemies ahead! We'll have to fight. Here we go! Right! Yeah. It's my turn. Up there! It's pretty standard turn-based combat, but with all the different combinations, once you get later on in the game, um, it definitely gets a lot more difficult. And you kind of have to, you know, status effects come into play and all those types of things, so definitely keep you on your toes. My first playthrough was actually on normal mode, and it got pretty difficult sometimes. Your chest. Okay, so that gives us the needle shoot quartz, so we're going to go ahead and give that to guys. Or not guys. We'll give it to Reen, I guess. Okay. Okay, so there's an orbit charging charging station just like before in the other part of the prologue. Wills, give us your blessing. All right. Arcus, back out. Arcus, activate. Yeah. Arcus activate! Huh. Huh. Alright. There! Time is precious. We should hurry. I'm stuck in 
starting to lose my sense of direction down here. Watch out, guys! My turn! Leave it to me. Up there. My turn. All right. Up there. The good thing about Elliot's Orbital Staff is that he can hit multiple enemies at once. Kind of like an area of effect attack. I go with a wind. The turbo mode also uh, not only lets you traverse the areas more quickly and the dialogue more quickly, but it also makes grinding a lot easier. No, I'll be fine. Look out, Elliot! What? No! Looks like I made it just in time. Oh, it's you! You said your name was Machias, right? That's right. I came to realize that I shouldn't let that arrogant noble goad me into losing my composure. So I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I acted foolishly and I hope you can forgive me for it. A sweat. Water under the bridge. Yeah, we all have moments when we say or do things we regret. That's human nature for you. Oh, and thanks for saving me, but... I'm just glad I happened to be passing by. After I'd cooled my head, I decided to retrace... Is it just the three of you? Yeah, we stood up. I don't think there's any reason to go back any farther. I see. Uh, I'm reasonably skilled with a gun, so you... Sure thing. The name's Reen Schw I'm Elliot Craig. My name is Guy Warzel. It's a pleasure. Uh, the pleasure's mine. I could... Could I ask you what social... I realize how that must sound, but please, don't take it. Um, well... Likewise. Ah, what about you? Well... Let's just say I haven't got a drop of noble blood in my veins, so I guess we're all in equal standing here. Well, now that's... We should probably get moving. I'd feel much better if we were around to help if they want... Yeah, I... All right. What is like this even doing on the school grounds? Yeah, who puts a giant trap door in a campus building? Stay on guard and don't get cocky! Leave it go! My turn! Alright, up there! Alright, so now we got Machias joining our party, so... Here we go! Leave it to me! Now with four people, it shouldn't take as long to get through the battles. That's that. Let's keep moving. To see if you attack an enemy from behind, you get the triple advantage, which is going to give you uh, quite a few extra turns before they can make a move. Alright, so we got level up there. I'll skip that guy. And if the enemies touch you on the field, then. Leave it to me. They have the advantage first. Keep it up, everyone. It's my turn. How about this? My turn. All right, who's there? My turn. Is everybody okay? We meet again. Good to see you guys are huh. Well, it seems you've cooled your head a bit at least. <sighs> at any rate. I'm Laura S. Arsade from the town of the Graham. It's a pleasure to meet Huh. That's down on the Correct. We're connected to the rest. Yes. Do you take issue with that? No. 
Machias, I can only speak for myself, but I don't feel I've ever done anything to bring shame upon me. And I fully believe the same. Uh, please, I'm... Uh, say... Uh, I'm Emma Milstein. Like Laura, I come from a distant region of the Empire. It's very nice to... A scholarship? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any training in the martial arts either, so... Oh, cool! You, yours looks different from mine, though. Huh, so it... Oh. Hmm? We're all acquainted now. Yeah, yeah. I'm Lisa R. It's a pleasure to meet almost all of you. Uh, uh, Ruhr, huh? What's it like living there? The Reinford Company's based in Ruhr, and... I suppose they are. Uh, I guess that bow must have been in that case you had with... I've never seen one like it. Is there some kind of orbital mechanism built in? There is, but I don't see how that's any of... Ouch. Um, <laughs> yeah. Wow. We've all run into each other wandering around. I think that would be for the best. It's... You needn't be concerned about... I beg your- I don't mean to boast, but I'm confident my swordsmanship will be more than sufficient to protect us. For now, I think it's best to remain in- That's right. In that case, two, te two teams has doubled the cup. How's that sound? I have no objection. So then. All right. We'll see the four of you <sighs> She really doesn't seem like she's- It was clearly- Still, there's no one else- There are four of us. I don't think we have- She really- It's certainly an enormous blade, but at the end of the day- She's taller and sturdy. I'll bet she can whip it around without breaking a sweat. The Arsite School of Swordsmanship serves- And her father, the Viscount, is arguably the strongest swordsman in the country. People call him the Radiant Blade Man. I doubt any of the other students here could- Interesting. I'd you sure know a lot about this stuff. I'm a swordsman myself. At any rate, I'm worried about that silver-haired girl. That's true. <laughs> I couldn't- <laughs> Come on now, that's no way to treat someone you just met. Okay guys, so that's pretty much- it's like the path splits. Which way do you think we should go? That's pretty much the prologue, so- a little wind blowing from the east. I bet the exit's that way. The rest of it is basically just completing the dungeon, uh, there's a boss fight, and you do get out of, you know, obviously the prologue concludes after that, so not much anything else really happens that's a little bit different from what you've seen, so, except, you know, the story progresses, obviously. So, yeah, that's pretty much uh, Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, but uh, for my mini review, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 because honestly this game is phenomenal. It's a 10 out of 10 and if you love JRPGs, I definitely highly recommend this game to anyone uh, who likes the genre. So yep, 5 out of 5, awesome game, uh, near perfect, I probably is perfect if you ask me in terms of story. Um, even if you don't really like turn-based RPGs, I would give it a try because it's just it's phenomenal. And uh, you definitely will see the whole playthrough of this game on the channel at some point. I definitely plan on playing that. All right, guys. So go ahead and end the video here. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Um, if you did enjoy it, remember to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.